If it is the summer of 2009 and you are in a car with more bodies inside than the number of doors outside and Party in the USA comes on the radio, everyone sings along. We do not discuss this. It just happens. Even if the AC is broken and the sun is rummaging through your skin searching for something to claim and split open or even if inside this wet and rusting machine passed down through your family like a sickness, your hand brushes up up against the hand you were too shy to pull onto the dance floor while some band squeezed one more encore out of the night. Singing along the party in the USA with the windows down is some non-negotiable shit. Even if you have to hit the cruise control on an empty highway to close your eyes and throw your head back on a high note, no one pretends that they do not know every word. Like this song, this sweet and heavy meal did not arrive in the stomachs of kids like us pleading for a heaving escape into the dark of some night we will bookmark from when we are holding babies and craving nostalgia. Everyone sings every word, even Jason, who is so punk rock he bleeds on everything. So punk rock he is almost always playing dead, a trick he learned when we were just boys in the bar down on Main cut his father off well before last call, and there were no more things for a man to break in his own home other than the bones of something that reminded him of himself. We sing though the singing cannot forgive our youth for being a storm cloud, cannot conjure the shell of any home where our mothers are still breathing and slow dancing in the family room, sing because it is good to own something in this country. It is good to let something pass through your mouth and blend with the other voices in the air that know the kind of grief you carry or they may by the time we get to the second chorus or the end of the song all together or however long it takes for the sun to have its fill of us and leave town. Everything in its wake a puddle we revel in long enough to forget that we are black and in our 20s, which is to say that we are too old for all this shit. And by this shit, I of course mean living. I of course mean that we have carried the lifeless bodies of enough younger brothers by now to know that we should have the decency to unburden America with our dying on the side of a cracked road. Perhaps this explains the silence that grows ripe in a car pulled over on 270 at 3 a.m. in the morning with no one in sight except for us and four police officers who mistook our lane's swerving joy for inebriation and worse, how we, how we know there are so many ways to demand raised hands even after the party ends. The way we know what may be left behind when we step out of a car, when screams cut into a night so gutted it can only be a casket where we know to oblige everything. After all, they're playing our song. <laughs>